Hey, hey, here today with a nice carbine padlock, Australian brand padlock, very heavy beastie, here's the packaging, I bought this off of eBay and uh, the listing described it as a security padlock, doesn't say anything to, to that effect on the box, so... <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to try and pick it in my hands. I like picking locks in my hands. This feels more natural. I mean, who carries a vice around in their pocket? Anyway, I'll stop being a, an idiot and see if I can pick this lock. I'm getting out of pin one here. If I can gently get position myself. A little bit of a click there, if you heard that. I'm going to pin two here, I think. It'll be binding a little bit. Now I'm wondering whether pin one slipped. Maybe I'll leave it. Just the way the lock felt made me wonder. Unsure. I'll move to further down towards the back of the lock. I think I'm under pin five here. You see binding a little bit. So these are definitely all standard pins. Two slip down. Binding pin here. Hooray. Something set healthily. Pin six seems to be a little stubborn. back to that. Have a bit of a feel elsewhere in the lock and see if I may have dropped something. Down here. Hmm. Getting a little tense. I need to ease off my a little bit. There we go. And we're open. Ah, 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 ah. Alrighty. Um, let me grab some tools. Okay. Um, didn't show that that worked, did I? So. Let's have a look inside. I can do this quickly and painlessly. So there's the beastie. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, yep. Certainly capable of six pins. I felt six pins. Wrong side. 
tight screwdriver. Got a fun little pick. Uh, <laughs> damn it. I've got to find a follower. Hang on. All right. Sorry. Wasn't completely organized. Just kind of picked up the lock without thinking about having tools around. So, back to it. Um, is that going to fit? No, of course not. working there. So uh, I'll pull up a closer view in a minute. I'll just dump these pins out. Oops. Little standard pins. things started falling out already. These standard drivers. Alrighty. Um, nothing special going on in the chambers on here. I'm in mean the pin chambers in here. Nice sharp edges. No serrations. Same up here in the cylinder, but I'll get a, I'll come back with a closer view of these pins. Not that there's anything special to see, but we'll do it. Okay, hopefully that's a clear enough image for anyone looking. As you can see down here, for the driver pins, we have all standard pins. Uh, there's no fancy um, tapering or beveled edges. It's just all straight standard pins. And it's the same up here in uh, for driver pins. Uh, all six pins are standard. Nothing fancy going on in the edges. Uh, just straight, clean edges. No bevels or anything. Um, stainless. Well, not that stainless, but steel springs, I, I'm guessing. Boing. I like that trick from Potty. <laughs> I like it quick and it works. So that's what we have, um, nothing up here in the cylinder, no fancy modifications, um, same up in the Bible. A very nice lock, very sturdy. Um, I like this lock a lot. It's not a very secure lock, uh, despite the eBay reading saying, uh, the eBay listing saying security. Um, no, there are no security pins in here and quite frankly that could have been raked open in a fraction of the time. But you know, it is what it is. Still a beautiful quality lock. Um, very nicely machined. I'm, I'm happy to have it here and play with it. So, but anyway, that's probably enough with this lock. Just wanted to show you what one looked like for those who might not have encountered one of these beasties before. And with that, I'll get the hell out of the way. Now I'm seeing colors, I'm getting high.